All right, so this is the next video, guys, part two, picking up where we left off in the last one. So that was equation one, KW. Now we're going to talk about equation two, and we're going to use something that's way more easy to understand and to express concentration than the last one, okay? So pH, just to kind of uh, give a little bit of background, guys, it's a logarithmic function. So you may be thinking, oh my gosh, logs from math class. Maybe you haven't even gotten to logs in math class. For us in this class, guys, we're not going to get into the detail of it because um, you have a button on your calculator that will do the logs for you. Now, I will show you a quick, easy way to kind of um, do it kind of a, a quick way, but you always have the calculator if you don't remember this. So pH, guys, we know the pH scale. 0 to 7 is an acid. Bases are 7 to 14, okay? So we're going to do the math that's associated with it now. So logarithm, guys, power to which 10 must be raised to get that number. So... I have a um, math skills review handout if you want it, but again, like I said, you don't need to get into the details of it, the theories and whatnot. We can calculate it, guys, just by using our calculator. But one thing I want to show you is if you have a perfect base 10, meaning it's like log 10 to the 7th power, so like it's a whole number up there, the log of that is just going to be that power. So log 10 to the 7 is just 7, log 10 to the minus 3 is just going to be negative 3. So anytime you have an exponent in your log or in your concentration, that is just a whole number. Now, notice this isn't just 10 to the 7. When we write it out, guys, it's 1 times 10 to the 7, okay? So that's what I mean by that perfect base. If there's a 1 out in front of your number, your concentration, the log is just going to be that number, okay, that exponent number. If you have a number like something else out there, like 2 times 10 to the 7th, that's where it's different. So only if, only if, make sure you hear me on this and understand this, only if you have a 1 out in front of your concentration or if it's written like this with just a 10 to the power, will that number that's up there be your number, okay? So we can calculate it by inspection only when we have a perfect base 10, which is that 1 out in front. Um, otherwise, we're going to use our log button on it. So let's take a look here at example number two. Now again, these calculations, guys, will get easier. There's going to be actually two ways to solve the problems when we get through all the equations. For now, we only have one way, and that's using KW to go from one ion to the other. So keep that in mind. So we're looking for the pH, okay? Well, if we look at our pH formula, pH equals negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. Okay, negative log, hydrogen ion concentration. Well, what type of substance do I have here? I have a base, right? Do, does that produce the hydrogen ion? No, it produces hydroxide. So before we can plug in and find pH, we've got to convert to the other ion. So we're going to have to use KW. Well, how many hydroxide ions do I have? I have one here, right? No subscript. So that means my concentration is just going for the hydroxide ion is just going to be this value. I don't have to multiply by anything because there's only one ion in solution. So 0 0.001. Okay. So I'm going to do my KW over here. Oops, I'm sorry. Hydrogen ion concentration equals KW over the hydroxide. Okay. And that is going to equal 1 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 0 0.001. When I do that, I get 1 times 10 to the minus 11 molar. Okay? I'm not done with the problem because what was I looking for? I'm looking for the pH. So I'm going to take this number that I just got, which is my hydrogen ion concentration. Okay, this number is that. And now I can go ahead and solve for my pH. So it's negative log. Notice, guys, this has a negative here, okay, which means it's going to do the opposite of what that sign is. And you can see it by actually plugging into your calculator. You see what I mean. So my concentration is 1 times 10 to the minus 11 molar. So this is what I was talking about just a few minutes ago. Perfect base 10. Oh, yeah, we've got that 1 out in front. I don't have to go to my calculator but you always can. I want you guys to do it both ways here to see what I mean. So if I go in there, notice you may think, oh, well, it's just negative 11. But again, this negative out in front. So if I go to my calculator, and I'm going to show you guys how to do it, and if you have issues in person, ask me. So how I would plug this in is I make sure you use the negative function, not the minus sign, log, and then it's going to be 1 second E, negative 11, and my answer that I should get would be the negative of 11, which is just 11, 
All right. So that would be my answer for this problem. I have a pH of 11. Think to yourself, does that answer make sense? What type of substance did I start with? Well, this was a base. So is a pH of 11 a base pH? Absolutely. It's actually a pretty strong base. So you have a built-in check a little bit if you can kind of recognize that. All right. So if you feel comfortable, pause the video, go try example three and the you try problem on your own. If not, I'm going to keep working it out. So if you have questions along the way, ask. All right, example three, let's think. I'm looking for pH, so I'm going to write that down. Negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. So it means I need to have an acid or I need to get my hydrogen ion. Well, what do I have here? Oh, look, it's an acid because there's my H. So, does that mean I can just plug this number right in? No, because there's two. We have two hydrogen ions. So to get my hydrogen ion concentration, I have to do a little bit of work. 3.4 times 10 to the minus 3 multiplied by 2 because there's two hydrogen ions. So my concentration that I'm going to have is 6.8 times 10 to the minus 3rd molar. Now I can take that number plug it in my equation, negative log of 6.8 times 10 to the minus third. Is this a perfect base 10? No. Only time you have a perfect base 10 is if the number out in front of the 10 guys is a 1. Okay, it is a, so it's not. You have to use the calculator here. So go ahead, plug that in. If you're having issues with it, call me over. When I get this, my answer is 2.2. That would be my pH. Think to yourself, is that a good pH for having an acid? Absolutely. It would be a stronger acid as well. All right, last problem down here. All right, try this on your own if you haven't tried one already. All right, first question you want to ask yourself. Well, what's my pH formula? Negative log of the hydrogen ion concentration. Ask yourself, do I have an acid or a base? Hmm. I've got a base, so I'm going to have to do a little bit extra work here. So first things first, get my hydroxide ion concentration. Well, 5.2 times 10 to the minus 4. But how many hydroxide ions do I have? I have three, so I've got to triple that. When I triple it, I get 1.56 times 10 to the minus 3 molar. Now I've got to figure out my hydrogen ion concentration. Oops, I'm going to rewrite it here. So that's where I'm going to have to use Kw. So 1 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 1.56 times 10 to the minus 3. When I do that, I get an answer of 6.41 times 10 to the minus 12 molar. Now I can plug it in my pH. You see how it just, once you start getting the little pieces and you remember those, it does get a little bit easier. And I promise you it's going to get even easier to go between your ions um, soon. So when I plug that in my calculator, I get a pH of 11.2. That does check out because I had a base, and that is a basic pH. All right. So that's equation two. Let's press on, guys, really quick to equation three because it's just doing the opposite of what we were just doing. So equation three now is going to do something the opposite of the log. Okay. So if I wanted to go from, let's say, a pH value to my hydrogen ion concentration, it's a one-step problem, okay? So here we go. pH is this. I want hydrogen ion. So hydrogen ion concentration equals 10 because, again, we're using that log base 10. So that's why we have this 10 number to the negative pH. Again, notice there's a negative in there. So many times students of mine will forget to plug that negative in. So make sure you plug it in. Otherwise, your answers will be off. So I don't have to worry about, you know, is it an acid or a base because I've been given the pH here and I'm looking for the hydrogen ion. So it's just pretty straightforward. 10 to the negative 7.52. Since this is not a whole number exponent, I've got to go to my calculator. Notice, guys, here, though, you must use the 10x key on your calculator. Don't use the exponent because it could lead to um, issues. Okay, It could lead to issues. Now, <clears throat> what our exponent key is that we're going to use, Okay, if you're careful, all right, 10, and I'm going to use the caret key, is what you can use, which is your exponent key. Make sure you plug the negative in. 
and this is 7.52 is our pH. There's my concentration. So you can round this guys to one decimal place or two decimal places, that's fine. Sig figs, unless they ask you for correct sig figs again. So I'm gonna report mine to correct sig figs just for the sake of it, so that's 3.02. Make sure you don't forget this number over here, the exponent. That E means times 10. So 3.02 times 10 to the minus 8th. And make sure you put molarity. If you don't put the unit there, you will be counted wrong. You're going to lose a point for not putting your unit in there. All right? So if you feel comfortable, try example 2. It's a little bit different, a little bit longer, but go for it. All right, so we're looking for hydroxide. We're going to have to convert from one ion to the other. So it's going to be the same process we just went through, but we've got to use KW as well. So if I want to get my hydrogen ion first, okay, 10 to the negative pH, which I'm just going to write it in, 3.2. When I plug that in, I get a concentration of 6.3 times 10 to the minus fourth molar. Now you might think, well, I'm done. What ion, guys, are we looking for here in this problem? We're looking for hydroxide, okay? So we've got to take one more step and use Kw. Okay, so 1 times 10 to the minus 14 divided by 6.3 times 10 to the minus 4, and we should get a final answer of 1.6 times 10 to the minus 11 molar. If I went a little quick through that last example, guys, pause it, call me over, I can help you with it. In the last part of this lesson, guys, video three, we are going to start talking about the other scale, which is the POH scale, but we'll save that for next time.